the 2024 NFL Draft has a number of very solid safety prospects. We have strong safeties, free safeties, and there's overall some pretty nice depth at the safety position in this class. While safety is not typically selected super highly in the draft, the 2024 class has seen a couple of players receive some first round buzz. We touched on Minnesota safety Tyler Nubbin in a previous video, but today we are going to be taking a closer look at who many believe is the top safety on the board, and that is Miami safety Cameron Kinchins. An athletic freak who has some incredible upside, how high can he go in the 2024 NFL Draft? But hey guys, if you guys enjoy NFL Draft content like this, we are ramping it up to uploads nearly every day, so if you enjoy, ring that notification bell and let me know who you want to see next. But without further ado, let's get into it. Kinchins in 2022 had a fantastic year for the Hurricanes. He had 59 tackles, 5 pass deflections, and 6 interceptions on the year and jumped out immediately on people's radars as a potential first round safety prospect. 2023, he was just as productive. He had nearly identical numbers across the board with 59 tackles, 5 interceptions, 5 pass deflections, and he even racked up a sack on the year for the Canes and he is one of the most fun and intriguing secondary players in the entire draft class. Kinchins has solid size and the ideal length for the position. He has really long arms and standing at 6 foot, 205 pounds, I think he's got really good size for the safety position. Kinchins athletically is a freak. This is a guy who flies all over the field to make a play. Kinchins has unbelievable speed. He is a guy who will likely run in the low 4-4s, and he has speed that can kill. He has that sideline to sideline ability that you love to see from the safety position, and I am a huge fan. He also has really excellent timing. He showcases his speed on blitzes, and he times his blitzes really well, and he can stop and go on a dime, and those are all areas of his that I am a really big fan of. Kinchins also has a ton of hit power. He blows up screens super quickly, and he is a player who looks like he is trying to blow a player up every time he makes the tackle. His hit power is some of the best I have seen in this entire draft class, and he comes down to defend the run and to defend screens in the blink of an eye. Lastly, Kenshin's has excellent ball skills. He has versatility to line up just about everywhere, and he plays a super physical and aggressive brand of football. He has a knack for the football racking up 11 interceptions over the last two seasons, and he just flies all over the field and has a great ability to read the quarterback's eyes and make a play. There are a couple of areas of Kinchin's game that I think could improve, but you're really nitpicking with him because he's a very sound prospect. For one, he plays so aggressive all the time, and sometimes it does come back to bite him a little bit. He occasionally will bite on a play too much, and it allows a bigger play over the top, and on top of that, he comes in flying to make a hard hit, it does occasionally lead to missed tackles. Over the last two seasons, Kinchins has 24 missed tackles, so I think he needs to temper his aggression just a little bit and play a little bit less aggressive at times. His aggression is a great part of his game, but sometimes, as I said, it comes back to bite him. Lastly, I think Kinchins could slightly improve in zone coverage. He's not bad in zone by any means, but he is constantly looking for the football that I think his strengths lie more in man-to-man -man coverage or a player who can just roam the field and isn't designated one specific zone. I think he needs to do a little bit better in zone coverage if he is going to be as successful as he can be at the NFL level. I'm a major fan of Cameron Kinchins. He is fast, he's powerful, he's physical, and he's everything that I like from a player in the secondary. You can find that in his game. He is my top safety in this class, and I think he is one of the most sound prospects in the entire draft class, as he is my number 19 overall player on my big board. Kinchins, to me, works best as a roaming free safety. In a role where he isn't necessarily designated a specific spot in zone, he can just fly all over the field and look to make a play on the football. While he lined up in a lot of different areas for Miami, I think that he was most effective when he was roaming sideline to sideline following the quarterback's eyes, going to where he sees that he needs to make a play, and going after the football. 
that's where he's going to be most effective, and I think that's the exact scheme fit that would be excellent for him. My player comparison for Cameron Kitchens is Minka Fitzpatrick. They both have very similar size and speed measurements, both running in the 4-4s, but both are also tackling machines, who have great ball skills as well. We talked about the missed tackles with Kitchens, but he's a really sound tackler, and he seems to always be in the mix trying to blow a play up. Minka has been one of the top safeties in the NFL over the past three or four years, and I think Kitchens and him share a lot of the same tools as that roaming free safety with great ball skills and really good tacklers. I think Kitchens has tremendous upside, and I think my comparison for him is Minka Fitzpatrick. Kitchens glides all over the field. He has speed and he has power, and he has a lot of tools that are heavily desired when you are looking for a starting free safety. I am a big fan of Kitchens, and I believe he will be selected in the top 40 of the 2024 NFL Draft.